Hello everybody, my name is Neil Lisa and I'm the owner of FX Animation Studios. The studio was founded back in 2004 and up until around 2017 we were focused mainly on working with TV commercials being mostly subcontracted by local advert agencies. We also catered to NGOs and such to make animated PSAs or public service announcement videos dealing with several day-to-day -day issues. Alongside client work, whenever we could, we would invest on our own IP, which is titled Os Pestinhas, also known as the Troublemakers. We have Stretch, Zé Gordo, and the leader of the group, Lily, all between the ages of 10 and 12. As we complete 20 years of existence in 2024, we find ourselves in the middle of the production of our very first animated feature film called Kibwe. When completed, it will be the first animated feature film made in Mozambique. Kibwe is a story about Lily's life and her journey to save her grandmother who was poisoned while discovering stories from her past, unraveling mysteries of her tribe and family of traditional healers. This will be our hardest project yet, as we aim really high in terms of quality. Our team is very, very small, it's just me and my wife. And because of that, we are always looking for tools that help us tell our stories without breaking the bank. Up until the year 2020, we were using 3ds Max as our main tool. In that same year, we switched to Blender, and at the same time, we also saw that Reillusion were developing their tools to connect seamlessly with Blender. So, we just thought it makes sense to add those to our pipeline as well. Today, our characters are all CC4 based, and every animation we do, we start an iClone and refine them in Blender, with Unreal Engine being the end goal of the pipeline. This workflow works very well and it's very stable. But being a team of two is still time consuming especially when it comes to the import and export times involved between all three applications. The ideal scenario would be iClone to Unreal directly. Up until recently, we could use the LiveLink plugin to export the characters, but we could only use the tape recorder from uh, Unreal to, ex to, to save those animations, or just use the regular FBX export. That was not a very good fit for us. The new enhanced transfer that features parallel processing for both iClone FBX export and Unreal FBX import guarantees the uninterrupted editing in iClone while transfers proceed. You can now even see the transfer process through the progress bar from within Unreal, so you have an idea of the time it's taking to finish the process. I particularly love the fact that the transfers happen for all characters, props and cameras in just one go. The cameras animated in iClone and set up with the switcher will come in as Unreal Sequencer and with the correct camera cut track to reflect what was done back in iClone. With our previous pipeline, we had to export the animations from Blender one by one, and then the cameras as well. In one of our tests, we even tried to export multiple characters all at once, all of them as subdivided meshes. And the plugin did it in such an effective manner and all was neatly organized in their proper folders in Unreal. The best part was yet to come, the Unreal Engine Control Rig plugin for CC4 characters. The Control Rig plugin is designed in such a way that you can just pick your transferred character in Unreal and click a button. After a few seconds, it will be ready to be animated with an engine with rigs for both body and face. This is especially useful in our case because then it means that we can just bake animations to the Control Rig and then tweak or refine them in real time considering the final sets and camera angles, which is a dream come true for any animator. There's even a picker to help in selecting the controllers of your Control Rig and you can have multiple characters in the scene and the picker will list all of them properly named. I would like to thank Reillusion for their continued support to this ambitious project. Their tools empower anyone to tell their stories in a very cost-effective way. To finish up this video, I've prepared a few sequences of our movie for you to enjoy. I really hope you like it. How will we get there? We're running out of time. I don't know what to do. We go through the lake, around the dam. <laughs> what? Oh, you serious? The I don't see another way, and I can't do this alone. I need you guys. <laughs>